as storytellers, I think the most effective way to have a relationship with the listener or, or the viewer or, or the person that's digesting the art is to is to offer them a world where they can transport um, that's outside of their own reality. Vorige week bracht Crack Cloud een van de meest ambitieuze en sterke postpunkplaten van het jaar uit met een debuutalbum Pain Olympics. Maar noemt ze niet alleen een band. De Canadese groep onderscheidt zich als collectief met een focus op het vertellen van verhalen op meerdere manieren. In the purest sense, I think that it's a group of storytellers, a group of people that share some similarities and commonalities, and then uh, at the same time uh, have many differences with each other. And and, and I think it's uh, basically a group of people who are trying to celebrate the kind of intersectionality that exists between all of us and hone in on a creative craftsmanship and uh, and yeah it's just an endless pit uh, of of cont- of cre- cre- creativity i find Het collectief is ontstaan vanuit een gedeelde ervaring met drugs elkaar motiverend om kunst te maken in plaats van terug te vallen De verhalen die ze willen vertellen komen voort vanuit de gesprekken die Crack Cloud heeft met elkaar in en rond hun basis in Vancouver we're living in a laboratory, a literal laboratory. We got something going going down on in the basement. We got something yeah. happening on the first floor. We got something yeah. happening on the second floor. We got something happening in the garage. garage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship with art came from a, a purpose of self discovery as well as rehabilitation and using art as a healing mechanism rather than some sort of platform. But to understand crack club. We, we don't come from a background where you know we have degrees in this shit. Like we're learning as we go. Yeah, and, it, was born, it was born out of uh, a feeling of urgency to create these ideas and manifest them. So by using whatever was around, the already. conversation precedes everything, and the art wouldn't exist without the conversation. I would say that 99% of Crack Cloud is, is purely the conversations that take place in our backyard or on the basketball court, or on the streets. That's where most of my our time is invested um, when it comes to crowd mode. When we talk and we get uh, in, into arguments, sometimes it's more heated just because we're looking out for each other. It's not because we're heated because we're challenging each other's ideas. Uh, we're more challenging each other, what's the best move for you know, to move forward? And, and we're thinking about health and we're thinking about all these things. And then that goes into the greater picture and then when we have the big greater dialogue of these themes, like it'll start micro pretty small with us, but then when we get to elaborate and open the doors, when we start inviting all the other artists, that's when it starts to change and evolve too, and we see that intersectionality. But a lot of times it starts really personal. Whether you're up or down, some side will help you get by. Met hun persoonlijke muziek en zelfgemaakte videoclips, weet Crack Cloud een eigen wereld te creëren. Part of uh, the essence and, and dynamics of, of the music that we make is that we approach it in a visual way, much like you would a video or, or some sort of visual storytelling. I think that the visual storytelling is absolutely essential in the way that we compose. And similarly, when we're editing and we're putting together the visuals, there's a very rhythmic musical kind of sensibility that goes into the construction of, of, of what you see. As storytellers, I think the most effective way to have a relationship with the listener or, or the viewer or, or the person that's digesting the art is to, is to offer them a world where they can transport um, that's outside of their own reality, even, even for half an hour or for two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Or, and those are the kind of storytellers um, that that uh, I draw a lot of influence from are, are people that yeah maybe maybe they're musicians and they make records but when I listen to those records it's it, it's not a, a relationship that I have song by song by song but rather this world that I step into and, and I'm gone for for that duration and so these videos are are necessary um, to to properly validate and, and um, uh, bring about the experience that we want to offer people with pain outfits. I'm a fan of lore and I, I like content that always feels uh, like supplementary, like you, you, you feel like 
um, there, there's always uh, another uh, little bit of content to kind of that do world building for you. So we, we never wanted anything that we made or output into the world, never not feel really personally connected to the content. And uh, like, you know, it's ba based on true shit.